New at eight, it's being called a combination of R2-D2 and RoboCop. This is K5, a new crime fighting robot being developed right here in Silicon Valley. Today, I got to see K5 in person and see what it could do. And I got to tell you, it's pretty exciting. I think this robot could help cut down on crime in this country. Here's a look at what K5 can do. This five foot tall, 300 pound robot built by Nightscope is packed with cutting edge technology to predict and prevent crime. It can see, hear, feel, and smell. It will roam around a pre-designated area and alert authorities if something is fishy. While it's roaming around autonomously, there's a very large sensor uh, array, a sensor payload that gathers in all that information from its environment. It uses shot spotter technology, facial recognition software, night vision cameras. We take that data and then combine it with a real-time analysis of the social feed of that geofence area that we're monitoring, looking for anything on Picasa, Instagram, Flickr, YouTube, and Twitter for anything that might be suspicious or of concern. We take all that data and then create a real-time crime map or heat map of where all the Nightscope K5s might be, any alerts have been uh, issued, and then start looking at an overall analysis of the situation. Think of K5 as a messenger. It has no weapons. It won't arrest people. Just pass along information to local authorities and others and be able to live stream that for anyone to be able to see. So it's not just the authorities that would be able to see the data, but the community itself. And that gives us an opportunity to effectively crowdsource security. Now, I don't care how dumb of a criminal you might be, if you see a couple hundred droids running around and the community engaged, the likelihood that you're gonna go into that area and commit a crime, very low. Combining all that technological prowess we have here in Silicon Valley, hardware, software, analytics, robotics, sensors, all that, combining that into a solution to fix a problem is energizing. Science fiction and, and reality are about to intersect uh, next year. That's right, you will see this in public being tested next year. Gabe Slate, Cron4 News.